Here I have a sample scene with the built-in Unity render pipeline. And I'm using some post-processing volume effects. Here I have a vignette, ambient occlusion, depth of field, bloom, and color grading. So first, create a script. I will name it post underscore process underscore settings. Now before you code anything, include the UI and post processing namespace. This namespace will allow us to access the Unity UI and post process library. Now we can create a post process volume variable. Make sure it's a serialized field so we can assign the post processing volume game object later in the inspector. Next, we will create a volume effect variable, I will start with the vignette effect. Now at the start function, we need to tell our script that we want the vignette settings from the post process volume. To do that, we will use the try get settings method. Now that we have the vignette settings, we can now manipulate those settings in our script. We will focus on turning on and off the volume effects. Next, make a function called post process toggle with a toggle parameter. In this function, we will turn on and off all the volume effects, and the easiest way to do that is by disabling the game object, that holds the post process volume component. The value of the toggle parameter, will determine if the player chooses, to turn the post process effect on, or off. Also, create another function called, vignette toggle. This is the same as the post process toggle function, but this function will only turn on or off the vignette effect. Next, add the script that we just created into an empty game object. Then assign the post process volume game object. Now, we are going to assign our functions into a toggle UI. First we will set up the toggle that turns on, or off all post process. Click your post process toggle object on your hierarchy. And in your inspector, scroll down until you see the on value changed section, and click on the small plus button to add an event, and assign the game object, that holds your post process settings script. Then click no function, then post process settings, and choose the post process toggle function. Next, assign the toggle UI as the parameter. Then just repeat the same steps, to the vignette toggle UI. Click the vignette toggle object on your hierarchy. In the inspector, scroll down to the on value changed section. And click on the small plus button to add an event, and assign the game object, that holds your post process settings script. Then click no function, then post process settings, and choose the vignette toggle function. Next, assign the vignette toggle UI as the parameter. Now let's test our UI. If I uncheck post process, it should turn off all post process effects. Same thing for the vignette toggle, if we click the toggle it should turn on, and off the vignette effect. After that, you can now add all other post processing effects, you have in your scene. In my case, I have ambient occlusion, depth of field, bloom, and color grading. So first declare the variables for each effect, just like what we did with vignette. Next, we need to get the settings with our post process volume variable. Again, we have to do this with each effect, that you have in your scene. And finally, create functions for each post process effect that you have. And just like the vignette effect, we are going to assign the functions that we created to the toggle UI. And now the toggle should enable and disable, specific effects in your scene.
Now for URP and HDRP. You only need to change three things in your code. First is the namespace. On the built-in pipeline, we use the Unity Engine.rendering.post processing namespace. But in URP, we need to use the Unity Engine.rendering and Unity Engine.rendering.universal or Unity Engine.rendering.high definition for HDRP. The second difference between URP or HDRP with the built-in pipeline is retrieving the settings. In the built-in pipeline, we use the try get settings function, but in URP and HDRP, we will instead use the try get function to retrieve the specific effect settings. And lastly, the built-in pipeline, URP and HDRP have similar but also different volume effects, so make sure that you are declaring the right effect variables to avoid errors. That is all. Thank you for watching.